So to read or not to read? Today I'm reviewing The Brief History of the Dead by Kevin Brockmeyer. In The Brief History of the Dead, Brockmeyer uses the idea that after a person dies, they inhabit a world that's similar to a state of life as long as there is still someone alive who remembers them. Once the last person who remembers them dies, they move on to the next stage of death, which remains a mystery. The odd-numbered chapters in this book are devoted to this World of the Dead in memoriam, and the even-numbered chapters focus on Laura Bird among the living, trapped in the Antarctic. The brief history of the dead reaches at times into the highbrow end of literary fiction, a little too wordy and all-encompassing for my taste. With so many dead characters and Laura Bird contemplating her own demise, there is plenty of reflection of lives lived in this book. In fact, the main focus seems to be remembering tiny, inconsequential moments of one's life. It got stale fairly fast. Now, the first half of this book held my complete focus. I was absorbed in it. Brockmeyer kept me in a state of some suspense as he teased me along with little details as I tried to figure out what was going on with this book. After these details came into focus, the story quickly lost momentum. There is just not enough plot to keep this book going. The story derailed with long stretches of prose and page after page of description that may or may not have held some second deeper meaning. It left me with an overall sense of why. The story itself is probably what bothered me the most. This book has a great concept and a good start. Rockmeyer knows how to tease his reader along and give them just enough information to keep them satisfied and still reading. But the book doesn't carry through with a story. Everything in this book just is. And there's nothing anyone can do about it. There is no change and there is no potential for change. You may be thinking, how could a story half focused on this Laura Bird struggling to survive in the Antarctic not be enough plot to carry a story? The chapters in the icy tundra were very hard for me to get. Since Laura is alone, there is no dialogue. Understandable. Okay, I, I get that. But it's page after page of impersonal prose and description that drove me insane! Admittedly, I am a dialogue person. I do not like long stretches of description and prose. No. But there is also a way to do description and prose that I enjoy and that I can easily read, and this failed in that. These sections were not suspenseful or heart-pounding. They were slow and plotting and tragically impersonal. Okay, you may ask, what about the dead people? That's gotta be interesting, right? The chapters about the dead in memoriam were much more interesting. That is what first drew me to this book. That's why it was so interesting to me in the beginning. But Brockmeyer tried to focus on too many individuals and their remembrances of little inconsequential details of their life that had nothing to do with the overall story for what little overall story there was. Instead of evolving into some story-driving subplot, the dead only served as points of reflection on life. They don't even experience much development or personal revelation. They added nothing to the plot and wound up feeling that they had no purpose. Again, it filled me with this frustration of why, why, why? What is the point of this book? I feel like Brockmeyer is trying to be deep and insightful with this book, but the problem is that he sacrificed everything else in the story to do that. There were great opportunities with this setup, but it wound up feeling disjointed, unfocused, and, in the end, rather pointless. The Brief History of the Dead by Kevin Brockmeyer gets two stars from me. So, to read or not to read? With this one, I'm gonna have to say to not to read.